Good morning from rainy Saigon. Having been in Saigon for a few days, I must say that I genuinely like the experience. There is so many places to go and things to do, excellent nightlife and whole assortment of beers. Uh, having tasted a few of them and been slightly disappointed, I have now decided to try to search for the best Vietnamese beer that there is. And I would like you to join me on this quest and see what we can find. I think I've got some ideas. So far, the few beers that I've tasted, notably the beer Saigon and the beer Hanoi, did not live up to my expectations. So I'm sure Vietnam can do better than this. And let's see what we can find. find ourselves a nice quiet spot where we can taste the beer that I had in mind next on the list. Let's see if we can find some place. We are in a dead end alley. It's not always easy to find a suitable spot that's quiet enough to talk about our next beer. And I'll tell you this much this beer that I want to talk about next has been around for a very long time. And it's been one of the favorites of the GIs during the Vietnam War. And let me just find the right spot and we'll talk about it a bit. Well, we found ourselves a little cozy spot right here in the Saigon city park and the next beer in line is the beer number 333 it was actually called just 33 when the, the GIs were you drinking it during the Vietnam War so let's pop it open let's see see if what it's like so I hope that this beer will be a bit of better quality than the Saigon and Hanoi beer. Let's give it a go. Smell is a little grainy, not bad. There is a sign of more hops in it. Carbonation is profound. A little bit more hops. Gee, I think it's somewhere between the beer Saigon and the Hanoi beer. I think The body is thin, it's a little bit of malt, I think 
we will probably give it a five. So better luck next time. See ya.